Hey, welcome to another part of the boat saga. We're gonna pressure wash in the bilge. Wait till you see how dirty this one is. First thing we do is pull the battery out and then uh, start cleaning. Yes, this is the bilge and how dirty it is. Look at that, oh my lord. Hey, do we clean in here? Yeah, probably we clean in here like once every 20 years. Hey, wait a minute, the boat's only that old. But look at all this, look at this, look at this, look at that. Oh my God. All right, and over here, it's the same thing. Look at how dirty that is and rusty. He had some steel stakes laying in here. We don't know why, but we're going to uh, pull that line off the battery and all that stuff, and then uh, we're going to get to cleaning. Negative's off already. There's all of the wire harness stuff off. Just gonna put that right there. Put this bolt back on here. Pull this out of the tray. Well, what the hell, it's heavy. You know, it'd be heavy. Okay, that's screwed down. All the, all the uh, ground wires are here. So that's cool. Looks like we can uh, start soaking this bilge down with some uh, cleaner. Let's just start in this corner. Gotta go get my cleaner. All right, let's let that soak for a minute. Try to clean out this rail here. Oh, lots of junk here, man. Ooh, man. Right here. Wipe off the hands. All right, let's see how this works. Okay, our bilge ain't spotless, but man, that looks a lot better, don't it? Still got that rust there from those uh, crazy steel rods. Starting to hook our batteries up. Spare fuses are actually in a bag next to uh, the hots. We did hook up our big deep cycle, and we've been running it, so that's good. And we still got our air conditioner pump over there to hook up. We hooked up this plumbing. Still got to get this tank back in. It's sitting with bleach right now to clean. And we're missing an elbow to finish the hoses here. But uh, let's get this other battery hooked up and finish that. <laughs> Let me go plug this Hummer in. Get some nasty hose clamp things you get hurt on over there. Mm, it's pretty tight. I tighten this up a little more. Okay, that's good and tight. Now, we got this, got this dandy switch here, both. So now it should be on both, and we should be able to run some of the gadgets inside now. 
Uh, the big thing we wonder is, does the bilge pump run? Uh, you can't, it's not one you can push up. So we'll have to, uh, we'll have to fool with the bilge pump by putting a plug in the boat and filling this with water and seeing if we can get her to come on. So that's how we're gonna have to do that. Uh, other than that, uh, still getting some of these crazy uh, helicopters out of here. So we should be all go there. Let's see what our uh, our electric looks like for uh, 12 volt. Shower pump. Ooh, that works. Water pump. Works. Lights. Well, don't know. Hmm. Maybe these are. No. That's it. That's so you can check the line voltage on each one. It's got the air conditioner there. Refrigerator. Ah, nice. Don't know if that means a difference for uh, 12 volt or not. Oh, runs on 12 volt, don't it? So we didn't put the 110 in. So that's cool. So that appears like it works anyhow. Put this little thing back in here. All right, you can see we got some, I think their dog did that. Uh, kind of dug in the corner. But it's looking good in here. Uh, not bad at all, not bad at all. So, uh, a good tour of the inside a lot of stuff still going on uh, we went in here clean this up with Tylex oh, it looks a lot better but we're gonna need to make another coat of Tylex Tylex up there don't forget like and subscribe